guys, welcome back to another edition of Mr. Richard's Journal. Today we are going to be making the motor mount for our air car. Now, to start with, you're going to need a large note card. I already did that, and you're going to cut it in half, hamburger-wise. All right, now, this is what we're going to be doing. This is, I'm going to be going kind of fast, but this is on a video, so you can pause it and, and uh, rewind whenever you need to. Also, if you have any questions, put them on the comments, and I'll get to them. All right, let's take a look at this. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to do a hamburger fold. And you can go ahead and do a, a close-up in here. And just keep it on this. And what we do is we've got a hamburger fold here, and we're going to do a hot dog fold. We're going to match up the, the creases, and I'm using my ruler as like a squeegee to make a nice, crisp, sharp fold. And now what we have is we have four quadrants. You can see that okay? All right, now what we're going to do next is from the center crease, I am going to move left and right, and I'm going to make a dot at four millimeters. Now, I'm going to make these dots bigger than they really need to be, just so you can see them a little better. Camera, can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, four millimeters, four millimeters, and I'm going to do that at the top and the bottom. Again, make these a little bit bigger than I need to. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play connect the dots, right, Bambi? And ah. here we go, playing connect the dots. And there you go. Okay, now I have two lines in the crease. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to make a crease on each of those lines and I use my ruler as a guide and that works real well and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and and squeegee that crease now I'm going to do the exact same thing over here and there you go use using the ruler as a guide and folding that off okay now what we have here is we have uh, the three parallel creases now I'm going to hot dog fold it. I'm going to uh, then fold it along all three creases and I get something that looks kind of like a big tall skinny M. And I'll sh show that to you if you can get a close up of that. You can see a big tall skinny M. All right, does that look good? All right, now moving on. Now this is what you wanna do. You wanna check here, there's an open side and there's a folded side. I'm gonna be working on the open side. Now that's important because when you cut it, if you do it on the wrong side, you're going to have to start over because you're going to end up with two pieces, not one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in nine millimeters from the t on the top fold, and I'm going to make a dot. So here's the top fold on the M. I made a nine millimeter dot. I'm going to go now from this bottom uh, left-hand corner from your perspective, and I'm going to go up nine millimeters, make a dot. Now I'm going to play connect the dots again. And now I got this line, and this, this part's going to be cut off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the bottom right-hand corner and connect it to this dot. Again, play connect the dot in this case because there's only one. And now I got this, and I'm going to cut off that piece and that piece. Now I'm going to take Excalibur. Excalibur. Uh, and we are going to cut the motor mount. And there's one cut, and you're cutting all of the layers at the same time. There's two cuts, and there you go. You've got a completed motor mount. Now, uh, what you want to do is, this is going to go on your air car, and we'll show you how to put that together in a later installment. And we'll uh, see you next time in Mr. Richard's Journal. Take care for kids. Bye.